Hey what's up guys it's Turk here and today I'm going to show you how to install the mod DayZ for Arma 2. Um, I got a request from X Puff Muffin to do a tutorial how to install it so let's do this shit. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is um, you're going to need to download Arma 2 and you're going to need the expansion pack operation Arrowhead. right now they have a, a sale on steam for 23.99 which will get you armor 2 and operation Arrowhead. and um so um if you're watching this later than june july 23rd it'll probably go up to 30 bucks because that's how much i bought it for but for now they have a, they have it for 23 bucks and it's going to get you the armor 2 and the expansion pack just make sure you buy armor 2 combined operations and not just armor 2 so what you're going to do what you're going to need to do is um buy those two and um install them let me go ahead and install them and i'll be back Alright, so after you have your Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead downloaded and installed, uh, what you're gonna do is um, play both of them all the way to the main menu. On yours, it will probably install um, a program called BattleEye. Just let go ahead and just wait for that to install. So after you have run, you have run Arma 2 and Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead. Uh, you can go ahead and close out your Steam. Now what we're going to need to do is open your preferred browser and go to Daisy mod dot dot com once you're in the website go to the top left corner where it says download daisy alpha test go ahead and click that scroll down and you should see a thing that says six update updater click on that Scroll down, click on download and install the software. It'll take you to another website and download the program. The version right now is 2.9.7, but if you watch this later on, it'll probably be a different uh, version of it. Once it's done, downloading go ahead and run it if the user account control pops up go ahead and click yes and it will start installing go ahead and close your browser if you like press next accept the terms next and right here you can go ahead and just pick a name if you like. Usually what it does is um takes the name from the computer. You can either leave it like that, choose your own name. After that, press next. Choose the destination folder you like. I just like to leave it default. Just press next and install. This will take about I don't know twenty seconds I guess. Depending computer, it's not that big of a file. Okay, once it's done, have this thing checked and finish, and the rocket should appear and it should start the program automatically.
once this appears go ahead and click on verify this program here will install your DayZ folder and all the updates that are recent so you don't have to worry about naming anything on the Steam or going into the armor folders or anything like that or just this thing right here will do everything for you nice and simple once this is done um, there's three things you could do you could either do quick match which will put you in any server I don't suggest doing it because they'll probably send you to a Japanese server Australian or you know somewhere you don't want to be <laughs> and it just probably make you lag a lot another thing you could do is pick a server from here just whatever you want um, you could sort by name number of players paying difficulty even the location okay so if um, the third option is the one that I like to do um, let me go here really quick so I could get this thing to pop out and to launch but yeah what I usually like to do is launch the game from this server from this program so you go ahead and click launch all right so after you launch the game and it takes you to the menu automatically that's the good thing about this launcher uh, on the top right you should say armor 2 and armor 2 beta expansion at day Z that means you have correctly installed the Daisy mod and you're ready to play uh, the first thing I like you should do if you like is go to player profile and create a new one this is where you're gonna pick your player name you know you can pick whatever you want Yoshi um, you know just pick any name that you wanted to show up when you're playing you can also pick a face for your character this is how he's gonna look like every character has the same body shape and everything but you could change his face if you like I'm not sure if the zombie ones work I've actually never tried it maybe you could try it you know let me know if it does work uh, but yeah go ahead and pick a face um, you could also pick some glasses if you like I don't like to pick any. You could pick the voice. Fire in the hole. Whatever you Fire like. Fire in the hole. You could change the pitch. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. From high Fire to in the low. Hole. Whatever you like. Fire in the hole. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and press OK. After you're done with your player profile, you're gonna go into multiplayer. And before you go in here, go to filter. This is just optional. You can go ahead and on the host, type Daisy. Hide the passworded. Since you don't have the password, there's no point of showing them. The max ping, what I usually like to do is you know, 90, 100, and it'll show the all the pings that you prefer I like to leave mine about a hundred max players about 50 that's where they usually are minimum players I can leave it at zero and after that you can press OK and it'll filter all of them out you could arrange each server by host, type, mission, status, player, or ping. What I like to do is assort by players. I like to go into servers that are, you know, not that full, you know, like 49, but you know, in between, you know, 40, 39 is good enough. Once you click on a server, make sure it is the difficulty that you want regular or you could play in 
veteran which is pretty hard I usually like to play in regular you also want to check the time zone of which server you know, this one is GM T minus 8 probably want to find out what's your You probably want to find out what your time zone is before you go in. Personally, I really don't care. I usually like to go into servers where it's daytime because when it's dark, it's really, really dark and it's really hard to play. Um, now let's, um, you know, let's go into a server. Let's just go into a, a small one, maybe 29, 40. Veteran, regular, doesn't really matter. This is going to one so I can show you it worked. Then it'll bring you to this page. What you want to do is um, press OK and then you'll, you'll receive the mission file. Let's wait for it to load really quick. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. Okay, once that loading screen is done it'll put you in another loading screen <laughs> depending on the server it will sometimes it'll load pretty quick sometimes it will take a really long time it just all depends on the server you pick once the loading is done it will let you know if you want to pick male or female one thing to note on the female characters if you do find a ghillie suit, you won't be able to wear it. For any female players out there, just want to know. I'm going to go ahead and pick male. It'll request it. Set up. Just got to wait for a bit. This usually doesn't take too long. Just ignore the green text on the left. It happens all the time. I don't know why. And here we are. We are in a server. Ready to play and mingle with the zombies. Um, if you do manage to die, I'm going to show you how to go into another server or go into the same server that you died. So what you're going to do we're not actually gonna do if you do happen to die and you're at the thing where it says you're dead um, you're gonna press escape and abort and yes if you're alive and you just want to kill yourself you could do escape and respawn and it will kill you and it will create a new character for you and here we are at the you you are dead screen from here what you're gonna do and it's kinda of weird like I said escape abort click on yes click on disconnect and click OK again to go into the same server that you're in or you could disconnect and find another server that you prefer alright so that is it for the tutorial um, one thing I would like to mention is um, once you click on launch you can just go ahead and close this out. You don't need it to be open. So you can close it if you like or you can leave it there. It's up to you. Um, I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, give a like. Subscribe if you like. And yeah, that is all. Um, thank you for watching. I hope they helped you. And have fun playing Daisy. Turk out.